Good morning, my little delinquents. Um, yeah, I just did a whole recording of the tour for this. <laughs> and I didn't record it. So, this is Lagoon Look Remodel. Uh, as you can tell, it already looks different. Um, it had the um, thatching siding. I didn't like it because I wanted it to fit in more with this little particular area, which has got a lot of the, the wood, you know, buildings. So I kind of played around with the colors. I went through a couple of d different color schemes. If you watch the, um, the actual Let's Build, you will see me going through the different colors and I kind of I kind of ended up with the three colors which I like because it kind of looks like this was added on like it started as just this and they added that on um, and I like the the tin roof uh, with the blue coloring it just seems more like what I used to see when I lived in Bora Bora I only lived there for like three months you know, some of the... Not, not a lot. You didn't see this a lot. But yeah, so... There you go. Let's see. That's the front. I only added these two trees. The fire pit. For, um... Uh, well, not technically. I added those, and then I added this chair sitting outside so you could sit and enjoy the weather. Two lounge chairs. And I moved this chair out here from inside. Well, let's move that. There we go. So yeah, this is this is what it looks like uh, morning, right? Yeah, morning, afternoon. Oh, that's so blue. I like the blue. And then evening. In the nighttime. Not much light outside, is there? It's pretty dark out there. Alright, so back to morning. Actually, I want to do that because I like the color of the blue here. <clears throat> Alright. It's pretty simple. I didn't change it much. I pulled this wall forward one. Uh, then I believe I moved the dock forward. Watch the Let's Play, you'll see what I did. And then I moved this room one more block this way just to give a little bit more room in there. Um, I didn't extend this any more than it already is, so I probably should do that now. There you go. Alright, yeah that matches with the front. Okay. <clears throat> I do like how you get this orange beam back here. But Alright, let's go around to the front. Let's click off that so we get rid of that horrible look. And that's what it looks like. Alright, let's drop the ceiling. Let's see if we can... Well, you can already start seeing the inside. And of course we can't see a roof because the roof was um, deleted by the developers when they built this. So this is actually a... I wonder if it'll work. Nope, it's gonna pop me through the roof. So this is the front entryway. Ooh, come on. You can see the kitchen, little living room area, dining area. I put a shelf here, you can put whatever you want on it. Um, so this is basically how it was set up. This table was over here, this was just a little L-shaped area. I mean, they really didn't put anything in this. They really didn't. I just, and like I said, this game is being used, this house is being used by a um, by two mermaids and a human. So these two mermaids kidnapped the human because they liked them so much. And they moved in here. So. <clears throat> yeah. I made a U-shaped kitchen. I mean you could probably, if you wanted to make more room over here, you could probably move this counter in one. Uh, yeah, you probably could. You could probably put a bookshelf right here. A proper one. And then just move the utensils over one. Um, if that's what you want to do. Uh, there's no decorations. I was limiting myself um, to keeping it as cheap as possible, yet decorating it so it was nice looking and, and would be comfortable that you, people would enjoy playing characters in here. 
I would enjoy playing characters in here and buy the things you absolutely need, all the skill things. Um, I don't think I added anything other than a computer for skills. There is nothing in here for building up skills. So again, if you wanted to push this counter this way and add something here for the skills bookshelf, I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I added a chair, I added a couple of counters, uh, changed the color. I, I was trying to desperately not, but I did want to make it look like a house. You know, out of it, maybe a house that doesn't match too well. That they went dumpster diving and found pieces of the things that people got rid of. Um, or like a hotel was liquidating and they got nice beds, a couple of nice pieces of furniture, you know. So yeah, this is the living area. I do like how it came out. I will have fun with my two mermaids and human. They are up. Um, I forgot what name I put them. Oh, I put them under Desi. D-E-S-E-A. Desi. Because <coughs> they're from Desi. <laughs> so if you want to look them up, uh, there's two mermaids. Uh, it's a redhead. Um, a Polynesian color, you know, Polynesian type person and um, another male mermaid with black hair. You know, I'm not going to get into ethnic stuff. I'm, you guys know me. But, yeah. That's the living room, so that's where they live. I uh, jazzed up the bathroom. Added the, the rock area so when you get out of the tub and the shower does exit this way. And again, I didn't use Moo. So this was tough for me. Um, not slamming in tons of decorations, adding, you know, doodads all over this. Add in a whole bunch of kitchen doodads all over here. You know, if you've seen any of my previous builds, if you've watched any other video tours, this is like amazing that it looks pretty good. I mean, it's even, and Maxis could put this up for one of their curated crap things that of all the builds I've ever done, I've never gotten a lot of followers. I've never, I've never developed a following, you know? So it's like, Hmm. Meh. You know? Just meh. That's why I got so depressed over playing the game that I stopped playing. I mean, nobody was commenting, nobody was saying anything. I wonder if you put stairs here, if that would work. Um, now that I've said that. No, I'd want to do the. There you go. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, alright, that works. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> See, these video tours can be useful. Um, so yeah, I did the bedroom uh, with two beds, because again, I was thinking, this is a house that I'm going to have a couple in. You can easily take out, I would put the bed here, like that. So it was here and put two side tables, one on either side of this window, the bed under the window, and then a dresser over here, and then you can fiddle faddle with everything else. Uh, you definitely move the bench. I'd probably move the bench to the end of the bed. Uh, but I did that with the idea that, okay, if, if I was to move in here with my single sim, I wouldn't mind being in a bed right here. I mean, this reminds me of the room I had when I lived in Bora Bora. I could actually, it was open like this. <coughs> <coughs> but it was right over water. And I could actually dive in, it was deep enough. It was out like on this. And it was one of those kind of rooms that you see them in Bora Bora where they built out over a lagoon. You'll have like 30 rooms out over the lagoon and you can just <laughs> cannonball right in the water. But yeah, that was my thought of 
when I did this. Um, but yeah, so I thought it came out pretty good. It really did. And I gave you guys a couple ideas of what to do instead. If you want to make room for a few other things without, you know, taking way too much from this build. So yeah, like I said, you could move like you'd have to move it up one more. There you go. And then just change that to a um, the little <coughs> uh, corner unit. So yeah, I like it. I really do. There you go. Let's do a quick run. This is the middle of the afternoon, evening. So you can see what it looks like at night, night time. There's no lights outside, really. We're getting most of the light from the inside. And then morning. God, I love it. I love the color of the wall. Oh, I love this. I really am loving this game. I'm loving, God, I wish they'd come out with this, you know, four years ago when I started building beach houses because I thought it would come out sooner. Oh, I'm loving this. Loving it. I do. That's a nice addition. I like how that came out. All right. I need new photos because I added that. Let's change the time of day. There you go. front door and then I'll be done. This is for Reddit. La -la -la -la. Oh, I went through the wall. There you go. <coughs> All right. So that's it. This is Lagoon Look. This is the remodel for Lagoon Look. So we'll be under a Lagoon Look remodel. Uh, I'm not going to rename it, just add the remodel to it. Um, so if you want to grab it and stick it in your world, uh, it is out of pocket. It will cost your Sims 39000 so 40000 So you could start with the original get them and get a little bit of money and then plug this down instead or use mother load <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, I'm liking it I like that I didn't use any cheats I didn't do anything that I didn't add too much to it and it looks nice so yeah hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the bell when you want to see when I do my next update, when I update uh, the actual remodel of this, the uh, Let's Play. Um, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the building, I'm enjoying playing. Um, it's kind of revitalized me. I'm probably going to be doing, probably with the amount of videos I did on the 20th and the 21st, I'll be uploading a lot of Sim stuff over the course of the next probably two weeks. I'm going to try not to overload. I'm going to actually try to play a couple other games. Um, I was thinking of doing a couple other things too on the side. Um, so it's not just all a Sims channel because it isn't a Sims channel. It just became a Sims channel because of Island Living. <clears throat> so yeah, have a great day guys. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, bell. Y'all have a great day and enjoy your day simming if you're going to spend all day today, Saturday, simming.